Okay, okay, so enough rambling for me. You might be wondering why I called you all here. So I'll just go into it. But you might notice I am I have my computer here. I have to read from a script. I did write everything. I just, it's a lot to remember. So I figured I would just read what I wrote and elaborate if I need to. So, here we go. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome in. Like I said, this one's a bit different. While I was perusing YouTube a few weeks ago, I was suggested a video titled What YouTube Has Taught Me with Less Than 500 Subscribers. So, curious, because I have only a little bit more. I'm like 600 something. I clicked on it and after watching the creator talk th about their experiences I felt inspired to make my own video because their video was really uplifting it was very helpful very insightful so I figured I would I would do it too and uh, so here we go so I started uploading videos maybe seven years ago and um, and it was on this channel. I did have a, an original, my first YouTube channel, which I created back in high school. Uh, <laughs> happy hunting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so seven years ago, I was at a point in my life where I had gone through some really rough times through a series of unfortunate events that I mostly created. I lost my core friend group. Uh, around that time, I was a singer for a few bands, uh, but I never really learned an instrument. So, yeah, the people I had relied on so heavily to play in order for me to perform had officially burned their bridges and washed their hands of me. So, I picked up a guitar started listening heavily to Bob Dylan, Ryan Adams, and Bright Eyes on a steady rotation and began to write some songs. And so then I uploaded those rough videos of myself playing said songs to YouTube. Uh, so yeah, they're still on this channel if you're curious. Um, at that point, I thought I'd use YouTube as the main means of promoting my music. I had some really big ambitions and goals, <laughs> you know, just the girl and her guitar. I was going to be noticed and I was going to make it big and show everyone that I was really was so talented and I really could just do it alone, you know. <laughs> I figured people would just find me like and just love me. Because why wouldn't you, huh? <laughs> so yeah, my idea of success now versus then it was a lot different. A lot of delusions of grandeur or grandeur, grandeur. I never say that right. Anyway, a lot of delusions and maybe just a tiny bit of an overinflated ego. And... Also, a lot of self-esteem issues fueled by crippling alcoholism. Um, yeah, if you know the signs, uh, you can catch glimpses of the last two things I mentioned in a lot of my older videos. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, bud. Later. There's been a lot of self-discovery and healing that I've had to do over the last few years. Uh, that just really wasn't there when I first started my YouTube channel. But this is one of the reasons why I love YouTube. Because I can go back and look at those videos and I know exactly who I was and what was going on in my life when I made them. 
can think of those old videos almost like mile markers or just on the road to self-growth. That thing about the internet being forever that a lot of people like to warn you about um, when you are posting anything on the internet is kind of one of the charms of having a YouTube channel, I think. You don't have to delete the videos. You know, you can. Like, I could go back and delete these videos. And I mean, in the past, that's what I used to do. Because I was embarrassed or ashamed. Like, I didn't want to look at myself. Uh, so now, if I do a retake of a video, uh, instead of deleting the old one, I'll private it. That way it's still there. That way I could go back and look at it. This is also a really good way um, that I don't forget who I once was and where I came from. So for that alone, I am super grateful to, to, to have started this channel back when I did. Uh. So anyway, a few months ago I had a conversation with a friend and he said what helped him to find purpose in life was reflecting on what he used to like when he was a child and applying that to his life now and how he could make something out of that as an adult. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to pretend to be a million different characters. Um, I would draw constantly, and I loved playing video games, especially RPGs, uh, while I was hanging out with my friend. Uh, my best, best friend since preschool. We would just hang out, she'd read a book, and or during like the boring bits, you know, the leveling up and the grinding and all that fun stuff. And then, uh, at the interesting parts the cutscenes, we'd experience those together. And it's a little silly, but I have a lot of good memories tied to playing video games at my friend's house. <laughs> so, I started playing games on live stream on YouTube. Uh, and in the same vein, I've begun to make some really really great friendships with people who come to watch and hang out with me. Uh, it definitely brings me back to when I was a kid in my friend's house in her room like the window open, summer breeze coming in and we're just like sitting there on the floor playing old RPGs, Final Fantasy 7. Okay, so where am I going with all of this? YouTube has opened an entirely new world to me since I started gaining subscribers. I really kind of hate using the word subscribers. You know, it's just it's the term YouTube chose. I'm honestly here looking for a community of like-minded people just to hang out with, grow, be safe spaces for people who are sick of all the fighting and the animosity that just seems to dominate the internet and society lately. Like, this is just a place for people to chill, have fun, crack jokes, and enjoy video games together. I feel like my goals are small, but mighty. So yeah, speaking of goals, YouTube has given me a goal. You know, a sense of purpose outside the routine. Like, Sure, I'm going to school right now and I'm going for my associates, but it's mostly to keep up with society's demand of betterment. The main reason, though, that I'm in school right now is because I lost my job and have been struggling to find work. I'm taking this time to do school so I can get a degree, so I can get a better job. Anyway, that is a conversation for another day. I'm not really here to talk about how crazy society is, and I'm not going to talk about my personal beliefs on that either. But now that I am live streaming and have a schedule, I have goals. I have things to work towards. I have friends who keep me sane when school is driving me crazy, or my own life stressors are getting to me. Uh, my live streams have become the high point of my day. 
<laughs> I didn't think this would happen when I started, but uh, it continues. It continues to blow my mind every day. Just, it's amazing. Uh, the way in which my confidence has grown over the last few months is also wild to me. It's scary to open yourself up and throw yourself to the wolves, but like it, it never helped me so much to do it as it has right now. Like, if that makes sense. So being able to stick to a plan and work toward a goal has given me confidence. A confidence in myself that I haven't had in such a long time. You know, when I sought out to kill the ego, I went hard. I brought myself to the lowest place that I possibly could and humbled myself completely. Um... You know, I could make a video about my history with all of this and, like, the struggles, like, go real in-depth with it if people are interested, but I don't really want to... That's not the point of this video. I just wanted to give you a bit of a my background so you know where I'm coming from. My confidence in myself grows every time I research and implement a new editing technique as I navigate the all-consuming, all-confusing algorithm. I do feel small moments of success when a short gets a few thousand views, or my subscribers say they laughed at a caption I came up with. You know, those are the little things, the little things that are amazing. Like I, I can't, I can't really emphasize that. So my small community has helped me with that so much. To get on the live and to see the first few hellos or hey's or yes pop up in the chat is like the most comforting and beautiful feeling. It's like those little boosts from people who truly think you are interesting or who are invested in seeing your reaction to one of their favorite games. Like I can't explain that in words, how sweet and wonderful a feeling that gives me. I am so grateful for my little group. You know, you always see the big creators and you see how many people are liking their videos or sharing their videos and sure, yeah, that would be amazing. But I am so happy to have my core group right now. You guys have helped me in so many ways and that is something that I will never take for granted. So thank you to my current subscribers. You are wonderful, beautiful, funny, amazing human beings, and I am so glad that I got to meet you through this platform. So what do I want to leave you all with? Well, if you have any reservations about starting a channel, I say just go for it. But don't go into it with the mindset of this is to be famous or I'm going to be the next influencer. Like, you know, you could be, you could be, but don't, don't go into it with that mindset. Personally, I recommend going in with the mindset of learning. You could want to learn more about the technical side you know, like algorithms and the way social media works and fluctuates if you really want to. Or you could want to learn better editing skills or maybe you are like me and you just want to find like-minded people and you want to connect with a little community and while showcasing some of your skills along the way. And I'm going to leave you with this famous quote from Aaron Hansen that I'm sure you have heard before. But there is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? I'm not gonna ask you guys to like or to subscribe to this one. Instead, this is what I'm gonna ask you, ask of you. That once you create your channel and start posting, that you just comment it down below so I can come check it out. 
and I say good luck and as they say in the world of performance break a leg <laughs>